So the iPhone does record excellent quality video and photos, but Apple doesn't want you to get the best quality right out of the box. At least on my iPhone 7 running iOS 13, it defaults to recording only 1080p 30 frames per second. But this setting is very simple to change and I'll show you how to do it right now. So first just pop into your settings app and scroll about halfway down until you see camera right in between photos and podcasts and then click on where you see record video. And look at that, it's automatically selected 1080 HD 30 frames per second. And trust me, this is a brand new phone. I haven't changed this setting before. That's not going to take full capability of the sensor. The iPhone can record at a much better quality. So if you look at the first two options, 720p is the option that's going to take up the least amount of space, but it won't give you the best quality. It might be jittery at times, and you're going to see a lot of blurriness probably. 1080p 30 frames per second is good. It's going to be jittery at times because it's only 30 frames per second. So if you are recording a lot of of action-packed video or if you're let's say walking and recording at the same time I don't recommend recording at this option if your phone doesn't have a lot of space I recommend only sticking to those first two options these last two options will take up a greater amount of space 1080p 60 frames per second is honestly the Goldilocks zone for me this is what I personally record at it will give you the smoothest motion possible so if you're recording again a lot of quick videos 60 frames per second will look the best and finally 4k 30 frames per second will give you the highest resolution and it will take full advantage of the sensor, but it's only 30 frames per second. So, you know, it might be laggy at times. And at least for YouTube videos, I don't think the 4K gives that much of an advantage over 1080p. And there you go. And now that setting has changed. If I open up the camera app, it says HD 60 right at the top. That's how you know that you're getting the best quality out of your iPhone. And one thing to note, if you do have the iPhone 10 and greater, you can record at 4K 60 frames per second, which is going to give you the best of both worlds but this does take up an obscene amount of space so make sure you have at least 128 gig iphone model if you want to record continuous video so thank you for watching i hope this was informative and i'll catch you all in the next quick tips